Oh, yes. Uh, and uh, maybe you could share a few thoughts on uh, his passing. I just realized I'm the last guy around that will serve with him. Uh, uh, I indicated yesterday that uh, I had in, enjoyed his company. Uh, I know a lot of people felt that he was confrontational and so forth. And uh, that's the governor's job. Uh, he taught American literature at Xavier, I believe. And uh, so I loved American literature. And so he and I talked about American literature more than we did about what he wanted me to vote for. But uh, uh, he was very bright and had a good sense of humor. Um, he also was a little bit out of place uh, here because he had really been oriented toward uh, Washington. Of course, it served him winter. And uh, so getting a hold of uh, what the governor's uh, orientation is, I, I think he had uh, a challenge or two there. But he was uh, he was good company. Uh, he didn't like Faulkner much, which troubled me because I love Faulkner. But anyway, he he, uh, he he had very good motivation, and I think a lot of people didn't understand it. I'm not saying he was right on policy. I'm just saying that he was someone who wanted to do some very important things for the state of Ohio, and uh, on on all occasions. And when I saw him afterward, uh, we had a, a, a very friendly relationship. And that has to be a challenge for somebody when the legislators voted against most of that person's proposals. And uh, on the other hand, uh, I found him to be very committed. Uh, mental retardation, uh, mental health, uh, school finance, all those things were very high on his agenda. And uh, he, was a, he was a very bright man. And, uh, he did everything he could to accomplish the policy goals he had as governor.